Hi everybody, this is Jeff Kresge and I'm going to give you three different ways that you can set your iPad up or you can use your iPad to translate. So this would be great if you have ELLs or ENL students or anybody that just has multiple languages in their background. Let's take a look. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up our iPad for multiple languages. I'm going to take my cursor and I'm going to show you the settings gear. So if I click the settings app, I'm going to scroll down to general on the left hand side and then when I go to general you'll notice that there is a section called language and region. I'm going to go ahead and click that. You can set your language up, your preferred languages, as many as you'd like right here under preferred language order. So when you first open up language and region go ahead and click preferred language order my guess is that English will show up for you as the default, but you can add as many as you'd like. And you can do that by clicking Add Language down below. So if I go ahead and click Add Language, all these different languages show up. Right now, I've got my iPad set up for English, Spanish, and French Canadian. And that means that those options, Spanish and French, will show up under translate on the websites later on and we'll talk about that in just a second. So that's how you set up the default language for your iPad. So if you have a student who is primarily Spanish speaking and they want to prefer their iPad being set up in Spanish, that's how they can do that. So go ahead and show them that. Again, settings, general, and language and region. Once we're on a website, Royal family members gathered by the Queen aside as health concerns swirl. So let's say that I want to translate this into a different language. All I need to do here is click and drag on what I want to highlight and what I want to read. So I'm going to click and I'm going to drag with those blue pins these particular paragraphs. When I do that, you'll notice that this option comes up, translate. So if I want to translate it, my translation comes up on the side. Spanish is there. Then if I want to switch languages, I can change my language into whatever it is that I want from this particular list. So again, all I did was highlight and click. There is another way to translate things. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a picture of something I'm going to grab this photograph right here, and if you'll notice in the bottom right hand side I have a small icon that looks like a document. That's called live text, and what that allows you to do is pull the text out of any photograph. So I've taken a picture of this. So think about maybe for a handout that you want students to translate or students want to learn how to translate, this is how you do it. So I'm going to click that live text, and then just like before, I'm going to click and I'm going to drag those blue pins over what I want to translate. And you'll notice again, I have that translate option. I'm going to click translate, and there is my, my Spanish translation. Let's say that I want to switch it into French. Now I've got my French translation, and that is for any photograph that you take. So the kids could take a picture of a handout, they could take a picture of a photograph, they could take a picture of whatever they want, and then use that live text to do that. The first way, again, under settings, general, and language and region. The second one is to click on the text and then hold. And then the third one is to go to live text in an image and pull that out with that live text button. I hope that helps everybody. Please show your students, especially those who need some support. Thank you.